Alright, so as you can see, we're in the middle of a battle. I actually did a few battles in here before I started it up because... I mean, the problem with this game, the problem with all record of Augur Reservoir games is that... When you get... I mean, well, it was much worse in the first two when you had to when you were basically spending the majority of your goddamn time fighting just random battle after random battle after random battle there were just countless random battles, well not random battles but there were countless battle points that you just had to go through blah 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 obviously now the fact that you have a world map to wander around uh, and in general the encounter rate doesn't appear too terribly oh god he is getting his ass kicked the encounter rate does not appear uh, too terribly high. Now, obviously, it's not as much of an issue. But then you get to maps like this, where I am rolling through, you know, a bunch of little points like how the old games were. And the battles are very repetitive. I'm doing the same exact shit to win every single one of them. I just pick whatever has the highest percentage state change. And I just mash on that between the characters until I get an ultimate point. And then once I get an ultimate point... I use Vice's super skill thingy, and then I get another ultimate point, and then I use, what's her names? Ina's, I don't know, I can't even remember her goddamn name. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, that's all I do, so, and Vice might actually die here if I, I can't do anything about it, though. All I can hope for is leave Fiona out of it and hope that she gets the time and inclination to heal a brother before he dies. That was just fantastic damage overall. If I didn't know, okay, I just barely got that ultimate point. So I'm sitting there thinking like, I'm pretty sure I can leave Fiona out of, oh damn it, he's dead. All right, well, that sucks. I was hoping I would, you know, I left Fiona out of it so she could hopefully heal him, but instead he's going to die and we are going to have to be forced to use our final magic. Oh my god. Oh my god, please stop. Our final fragments of life. The last one! Our final one. <laughs> This is brutal. Oops. Yeah, this is just... This is not going my way. I want to make sure I overkill this dude. Overkill the Wolverine is one of the title thingies. God damn, man. I am just getting my ass beat black and blue. See, that's the other problem, is there's really, like, no efficient way... Well, I guess I could switch them out. I actually haven't tried that. I should try that if somebody's just getting bodied and I, like, I look at the turn order and there's no possibility to heal. I should look into, um... I'm just gonna do this. I don't know if this race is battle rank or not, but I'm assuming it has to have something to do with it, so I'm gonna do it. I guess he never got hit. Which actually makes me kind of mad because hitting this dude is a pain in the fucking ass. I don't even, like, what does guard miss mean? I legitimately do not know what guard miss means. Haha, <laughs> 69%. But seriously, what does guard miss mean? I really don't know. Alright, so this should take two more turns. See, this whole slowdown shit. See, like, it didn't slow down at all there. It slowed down a little bit beforehand. This whole slowdown shit is just not helping a brother time this shit at all. There we go. Ah, no, hit it. Just barely too early there. Too late there. Double hit it there. Damn. I suck at this. 
I suck at this, I'm terrible. I hate quick time events. I mean, that's basically what they are, really. They're basically quick time events, except there's really no way to fail it. I mean, you can sit there for like seven goddamn days. Oops. I mean, you can legitimately just let it sit there for like five minutes and it won't go away. There's no real way to fail it, but to actually get the weight bonus, which it has I haven't had a fight last long enough to matter yet, where like the, I had to worry about the weight at all. But, uh, I don't know, man. They made it, like, I mean, they made it. It's not as far. Maybe my reactions are just ass. But right about now, it seems like you have, you have to basically know. You have to know when that shit is going to come. Like, when the proper timing is for each skill. Not, you know, react to the button on the screen. You got to know exactly how long that shit will be because if you don't I mean I just I don't think it's reactable so let me actually just check here all right so he is fully healed damn these two have no goddamn help I actually really should I actually did this in the other game but I did not do this in this game because I am I guess stupid or something switch those two around so that way hopefully well actually don't they target Jan i'd say they target janus more than they talk well eh i mean well, we'll see we'll just we'll let it rock we will see but that's another thing that just kind of like um is an annoyance i guess with this new system as well is that there's no real effective way of taking somebody who is getting targeted, like for instance he's probably gonna get pretty low health here of uh, taking somebody who is being targeted and, like, you know, throwing them in behind everybody, but still, you know, there's no real effective way to do that in this game, as opposed to the previous record of all the rest of wars where, you know, you were free to move, uh, you know, however far your character can move, but you can move them behind people, you can protect them with people, you could purposefully set them up next to somebody that, uh, could heal them, that kind of shit, as opposed to... Uh, how it is now, where it's just like, oh, uh, yeah, you're, you're just gonna get up and bodied here, and there's fuck all you're gonna be able to do about it, because you can't move your character outside of just switching formations. I completely forgot, what, what, what am I going, alright, oh, Ariel. I'm not even bother time, I'm just mashing. Fuck time and shit. That's the other thing, you can't mash. Like if you just if you just try to mash it, like I'm I'm like pressing the button as hard as I possibly fucking can right now. It just it doesn't work. You can't mash it out. It has to be timed properly. Oh wait, did I actually that may have actually fucked it up. Hey, it did not fuck the formation up, how exciting. You have a guard broken up yet? What the fuck, people? God damn! Yay! All right, fingers crossed that this time these assholes actually hit the dude behind them. Well, actually, I think I think the last time the thing was two squares behind, and there was another one that was directly behind that we hit. But whatever. I just wanted to hit everybody always. All right, would you knock that shit off? Knock that shit off! Give a brother a heart attack over here. God damn. I don't think we're hitting the dude. We're not. We're not hitting the dude behind. That's just that. We're not hitting the dude behind. Fuck off. Okay, so from now on, whenever I'm putting this. Oh, okay, this one will hit. This one will overkill him. That's good. I'm still not particularly clear on what, if mashing is bad during that, the ultimate strike. 
I mean, it doesn't really explain shit to you, unfortunately. <laughs> it really doesn't help you out at all. I, I'm gonna save right here. And I believe after this fight, uh, we should, hopefully, fingers crossed, be at the event. This fight, if I am remembering correctly. I should actually probably write this shit down when I'm in the Aaliyah Forest. I will do that while it's loading the fight. Yeah, see, I mean, it's basically the same fights over and over, which is why I don't really want to record. I mean, even if it, even if we're not against the same enemies, the game plan is still exactly the same every single time. I may switch it up a little bit based on what type of attacks I'm using, but in general... In general, I'm actually pretty much always using Fiona or Aina because physical attacks have terrible accuracy. But the magic attacks, I haven't really seen the magic attacks miss at all, so it's like... You know, what's even the point in using them, to be perfectly honest? Oh, wait. Let's take her. Oh, wait, no. Let's take her. Oh, fuck you. Ah, I hate that system. Oh, yo, we got there anyway. He's overkill. Yay! Okay. So now all we have to do is hope. That no, see, I don't want to see now. I don't want to do shit. Well, I think everybody's out of position anyway, so it doesn't matter. So we will just stand by. I wasn't expecting to actually kill that thing like straight out. I was, I thought it was stronger than that. I want these two to get next to each other, and I'm hoping this is like some kind of combo with Zack, and they will. Shit, they're not going to. They are assholes. And stand by again. Are you serious right now? He doesn't have enough AP alone. Yeah. All right. We're standing by again. Oh, really? He was the only one out of position. What a piece of ass. All right. So I guess with this one, all I really need to do, I just need two people in here. I just need enough people to ensure that I can use this, and that's all I need. So there is no, there is no reason, because he should be able to overkill on his own too. At least this dude. Yep. Look at that, I'm so smart. Nope. This way we get the AP bonus. So next time, since we did not target the Wyvern, bring him down, bring his health down at all. Before all of this shit went down. This way, we have, I mean, we have a shit ton of AP to play with. So I'm gonna guard break him first. Guard break him. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to try and completely fucking fail to guard break him first because this this game hates me. God damn, son. I wanted to get the maximum damage out of that, but since the first hit guard broke, we didn't. Cause my squad is booty. And they can't guard break a dude on what? What did I use? Like four attacks? They didn't even guard break him. Bunch of assholes. This better overkill. Who just barely? Just barely. Alright, sounds good to know though. Now, like, target the imp first, because the imp will just fold. And that bring you know that obviously brings the damage they'll do to me down and whatnot, all that shit. So here's the event that I spoke of. Now with the addition of the party member that is about to arrive, we now have all the heroines, and Victoria has apparently disappeared. <laughs> That's the sign that you went and did something you weren't supposed to do when characters who are now in your party are not shown on screen <laughs> during the event. Ooh, that's my bad. Ah, Hontoni,モリビトの。もちろんです。ここはもうアリスタのための本来であればこの地にすら足を踏み入れる。早く許可を取らなければたとえ殺されても文句は言えます。
I think it's probably like the biggest disadvantage to a video game is like if a character decides to threaten you, you're never really actually threatened because it's like, what are you gonna do? Like I'm obviously the main character here, what the fuck are you gonna do? Man, just imagine an RPG where like you could actually lose. You could actually lose. And like if you die, it's done and you gotta restart. Woo. That would be that would be a hardcore RPG. <laughs> and people would probably hate it because that would suck. Shut up, furry! I want to try to listen to her because I swear to God she talks. I swear to God she talks in the third person. I feel like I've heard her talk in the third person. Like I've heard her say her own name before when she's like supposed to be saying I and shit. でも I'm not the only one that puts like extra emphasis whenever I'm reading shit they put in dashes and it's completely like it, it's not what they're intending. I mean whenever they put something in dashes it's just supposed to mean like this is a term that you should know. They're not like trying to add emphasis to it, but every time I'm like, I'm adding emphasis to the word and it just makes the sentence look stupid because of it. <laughs> it's, it's really annoying. I'm gonna be heading west. Alrighty then. But now I believe more shit opens up. Hell yeah, it does, son! Just wanna do this last fight up in this bitch. Hope we don't lose because I no longer have any more fragments of life. Maybe that's why now they only allow four people per party so that if somebody dies, you got plenty to possibly replace. Well, you had plenty to possibly replace them before even the six, so that's not really good. That's not good reasoning. Oh, yo, damn, that's a big scorpion, dog. Oh, yo, damn, somebody's gonna die here, dog. Because they move in first. Man, thank God we have Vice, because this nobody else can tank shit. Like, Fiona would already be dead. <laughs> Fiona would already be dead. Janus would be barely clinging to life. Aina would probably be dead. It just, the shit would not be good for us. Alright, so let me actually, I need to look at the turn order. Use everybody but her. Use everybody but her. Actually, that kind of sucks because she's like the best with stun attacks. Shit, we only got 41%. That's booty. Shit. I gotta make her leader now because everybody's out of formation. Alright, let's go for this dude, why not? We did jack shit to him previously. Oh yo, yeah, he's a see, I had I had to pick the one who does the most damage to him and would have done the most guard breaking and would have gotten us that point much faster. Although we actually don't even have to pull. Whoo, he just barely got that point. He better okay, good, he didn't. No, he didn't live. Fuck! I wanted to overkill him. Man, like, I thought it like I thought he had just barely, just barely squeezed through there. But he didn't. 
Well, so I'm actually after this fight, I'm going to do the fight again. I'm not. I won't record it. But I am going to end up doing the fight again because I want to overkill the dude and get the overkill bonus, the item and whatnot. I gotta stockpile items so I can make shit. Stop beating the crap out of him, Jesus, man. Didn't nobody, didn't nobody ever teach you manners? Shit. Let's just aim for her, because I'm assuming if I aim for her, we hit the scorpion as well. Yep. Oh, the only downside of that is that now I cannot see the scorpion's health. I really hope I'm overkilling this dude. I mean, I'm using two of them. It has to be an overkill, but still, you never know. Like, I legitimately, I really don't know right now. I don't even know why I bothered it. Shit, I didn't, so I didn't overkill the scorpion either. So yeah, we definitely have to do this now, again. Because I want to overkill the scorpion, and I want to overkill the wolf dude. And I'm sure that was actually probably worth a decent chunk of it, uh, experience as well. Hey, our party rank went up. How exciting. Yeah, see, she's level 10, man. I'm still under level. Even after going to that continent. Oh, there's actually another fight over here. Is it against the same shit? Nope, that's entirely different. Oh god, and they're hella fast, and they're gonna body me. Oh, it's because I'm in the wrong formation, so Janus is right up in front getting his ass whooped. And his ass cats. Alright, so I'm actually gonna leave Janus off so I can. So I can appoint him leader after this is all over. Oh, you missed. God, what a dick. I really don't want to go after the familiar. You're gonna overkill her in one shot? I'm gonna go for it. Get, all right, bye, bye. I'm hoping I get to ult, get the ultimate strike by itself with all four of those. But I did not. I honestly might not even manage to get that. Like, what the fuck? This bitch gets to go again? So I should be able to hit both of them. Oops, my bad. I should be able to hit both of them. Right here. With this stuff. Actually, we've seen enough of this. We overkilled them both, right? We overkilled them both. Let's be safe. Why not just do it? Alright, there. Now we overkilled them both. Now we good. No need the ultimate strike. We good. Also, for the, for one of you, one of you mentioned like you you thought that you could uh, somehow get rid of points that automatically let you can't. I'm like I'm sitting here just mashing left. You can't do it. It's not. I mean I'm just gonna try to hit every single button right now. Yeah, you can't do it. You can't get rid of those. Unfortunately, he was saying that uh, he believed that you could remove those points and reallocate them as you wished. So that you could get, you know, so you could up the stats that you wanted to. But unfortunately, it does not appear to be the case. Unless I am completely missing something and you have to enter, like, the Konami code or some shit. I don't know. Oh, there's a second exit. Alright, so this is probably going to be a beastly-ass fight. So let's save. Since we're in, like, the very depths of this damn forest. If 
if it does not turn out to be a beastly ass fight and it's just like two furries and a demon again, then I'll just stop recording then because I'm sure this is not the most exciting thing. Oh god, this is a beastly ass fight and I am scared. Oh my god, I am scared. Dude, we gonna die. Oh, we gonna die! Just kicking my ass! Actually, that wasn't that bad. So we got a tyrant and a man. Who aren't these? I know the man eater is one of the titles. I gotta overkill the man eater. I don't know about the tyrant, but I know overkilling that man eater. Yo, one hit guard break? Let's go! I can dig it. Oh my god, we didn't even manage to get to 50%. Right, so I think, how much health does he have left? 902. You know what? I'm feeling froggy. Let's just do this shit. I ain't scared. Alright, what happened to my one hit guard break, motherfucker? Use the wrong attack is what happened there. Yes! Yes! We got our ultimate point! And now all we have to hope for here is that we don't all die. Yay, they're targeting- oh, he might die. <laughs> I was gonna say, yay, they're targeting somebody else, but that somebody else is getting his ass kicked. Oh, he's getting his ass kicked. Oh, dear lord, was he getting his ass kicked. Alright, so here's hoping. Cross your fingers. Because I honestly don't even know if we will be able to kill. Oh my god. Wow, that is just doing zero god. Dude, did you see that shit? That did like no fucking damage. You know what? I'm leaving that alone. I'm leaving it alone so I can do it again next turn. No! Damn it! I didn't know that would straight up kill the man eater. Oh, if I had known that, I would have targeted the man eater instead, and I would have just gone in on him with single target stuff. Well, live and learn, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna break him first. Good. And now we're going in. Actually, I'm gonna try to steal from him here. Good god, I still might not overkill this guy. Cool, I did a lot. Okay, so he does a lot of damage. Alright, okay. So he is worthwhile on a single tar on a single target thing. Single target, I didn't th I was actually under the impression so far, thus far, that he uh, he just wasn't a damage dealer. That shit just didn't do any damage. But I was completely incorrect. That dude just bodied him with damage. Alright, so I, I mean, like I said, I have to redo some fights now. I have to, oh my god, there's another one all the way out here in the boondocks of the forest. Well, uh, I'll start that one up at the beginning of the next video. I want to go and, what the fuck, why do you, why, why do I have to press right to get over here, and then I have to press down to get out of here? What the fuck kind of faulty ass logic is that? That is redonkulous. Alright, so anyway, like I said, I'm going to go through here, because I want to overkill the man-eater, because I know that's a title, or I'm like 90% that's a title. Damn, the, uh, the tyrant is gone. Alright, but anyway, like I said, going to overkill this dude, then I'm going to go back, overkill the scorpion and the wolf dude, and then we'll be back to do that other fight.